If you want to liven up your home for the fall, one way to do it is by adding a little art, and you can do it yourself. Yeah, Keith Bynum and Evan Thomas know a thing or two about DIY design. They're helping rebuild Detroit one block at a time on their HGTV show, Bargain Block. And they're going to show us a few projects from the last season. Hey, y'all. Uh -huh. First of all, when I read DIY, I was like, wait, we're going to make art? Yeah. Is that for real? People without artistic ability can make something? I tell people this all the time. You don't have to have a ton of artistic ability to be an artist. Really? It's really a lot easier than you think. So how often do you guys use DIY to decorate homes? Every house. Every house you do. Every house. Yes. All right. Okay, so something. let's start about the with the custom painting. Something we would do inexpensive, yep. easy to do. What's, what's, the, what's the price tag on this first? Canvas are like yeah. anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks. Okay. It's like a nice size. Well, it's not too big. Did y'all use this in one of your homes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. a big one. That's actually a piece of plywood that I did because I'm real cheap. But <laughs> you wow, can that's do beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, so how do you make that? How do you get that effect? How would you do that? So it's it's pretty easy. The big thing I think is make sure you limit your color theory a little bit to keep it classic. Oh, okay. So two, three colors, maybe four at the most, but keep them in the same tones. Okay. And then beyond that, it's pretty easy. If it's a latex paint, water it down a little bit so it's a little more viscous. Okay. And then uh, I use a lot of spray paint because it's pretty viscous, but it's actually really easy. You're going to grab your color. Okay. And Do you, have a, you need a brush? Nope, no brush. Oh, oh what? So and, yeah, this is great down. for kids, too. Yes. Oh, you so want us to do two different, yeah, okay. two different ones. So yeah. what do we do? All right, so my first step, I like to do a big chunk, so just dump that one on f flat, fast. Yep. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like it. Okay. All right, so let's pick your next color. Okay. This. Wait, this is, here, you have this. Oh, I sorry, this. I took your blue. I'm going to take brown. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Red. okay. All right, this time, just kind of like do this all over it, all over the whole thing. And you can get like real shaky, you know? Like oh, this? Yeah. And oh, don't be good. timid, just yeah. go for it. Oh, I love that. Great. Oh, nice. Okay. You like right. it? Yeah, nice. Okay. okay. Simple. Okay. For third color, grab your next one. Mm hmm The blue, for mm -hmm. you, the blue. Mm hmm This time, go a little bit like this. Okay. <laughs> Are you from the South? I am. Remember, we're from Midland. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. We hey, went to preschool together. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Except for you're a lot younger than I am. Nobody needs to know that. Okay. okay. The white. And you, yours is you're brown. The white, you're brown now. Okay, and what are we doing here? Now, again, just kind of like give it something from above. Oh, oh, I love it. Yes. Sorry. <gasps> look, you got your little mix here. Oh, is that what you were talking about? That's pretty, oh, so that's, that's gorgeous. How did, oh, look, I don't mixed know. a little tie-dye. Oh, I love so that. So if you don't Wait. touch it, it'll just sort of like do its natural thing and uh -huh. over time will dry and create a really cool effect. Wow. It's so really you beautiful. just, how long does this take to dry? A couple it can, hours. It can take a while. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. So um, just let it sit. Put it out on your porch. Yep. yep. But put by the way, on. and then you just look, it kind of looks like something worth hanging up. Right. It's amazing. It kind of does. Kind of. <laughs> Oh, no, we're does. talking ours. Yours is awesome. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank okay, you. tell us about this cool string art. So string art, obviously, it's been around for a long time. It was really popular in the 70s. Yeah. I have a ton of wood scraps from all the furniture yeah. we build. Yeah. So sticking those all together is kind of fun. The one that we've laid out over here, I think, oh. is kind of like midway. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. these scraps, Sad. you can really get creative with the layout. It doesn't really matter how you put it together, but think about your balance. And then you've got your little detail nails. So you already glued them. all these together? These are already glued together. Yeah. And how do you know where to put the nails to start? That's the fun of this. You can yeah. kind of put it anywhere. Anywhere? Oh, it doesn't it's matter. It's random. It's okay. totally different every time. And that's the uniqueness of it. And you just one. string them up like that? That's Super it? Super easy. Yep. You tie one off that's and then look. just embroidery floss. Embroidery. And what is that? Embroidery floss. Uh -huh. Is it stretchy or just like string? It's string. It's oh. just glittery because okay. we like glitter. Yeah, I like pretty. glitter. I Beautiful. You just hang it up. Gorgeous. Hang it up. It's really simple. Amazing. Another fun project. For kids. Okay, let's talk about how we can um, create interesting dimensions and art on the ceiling. So everybody has a chandelier that they probably don't like. I, right. I mean, unless you just built. But yeah. one way to really dress up a chandelier is to put a ceiling medallion up, and it's not terribly difficult to do. I think there's two steps. Look to how make pretty it really that work. looks. Is that yeah. one of y'all's houses? Yeah. yeah. So, so Detroit? Do they yeah. sell these things? Yeah. Uh huh. Can At buy Home, Depot? Home Depot. Home Depot, yep. Lowe's, Amazon. Oh, Amazon. okay. They're yeah. Really okay. inexpensive. That chandelier actually was painted to match the medallion. It was actually thrifted. Yeah, it was a thrifted mm -hmm. chandelier. Oh my gosh. Okay, so tell us. So you take the chandelier down and then you yeah. put that thing up. Yep. Caulk your edge so it's like it looks like it was original plaster. Ah. That's the key to making it. Look yeah, really you good. want yeah. it to look like it was always there. Yes. yes. Right. Uh -huh. And, and then that caulked edge does a great job. And How do you brush. stick it up there? So you well, use a construction adhesive that you just have a caulk gun and you put it on it and you just stick it up and you just let it dry and then you put your 
Why right were here. you painting yours? It was a different color or something? Yeah, we painted everything to match, so it felt more yeah. like so uniform. Should you do that too? Maybe here, like paint it the color yeah, of the ceiling yeah, or whatever? Yeah. It helps it look more natural to yeah. the space. It's so cool. all great ideas, Thank and you. that actually seem doable. Totally, totally are. Totally doable. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And if you don't take your chandelier down, cut this in half, put it up, then caulk the seam and paint it, you can't even tell. That's amazing. Great idea. Guys, Thank, Thank you, guys. You guys. Bargain you. Block, by the way, airs Wednesday nights, HGTV, and you can stream episodes the same day on Max. We love what y'all are We're doing. We're so happy Thank you're you. here.